and welcome everyone to the Jeanette Biro podcast. I'm Jeanette Biro, and uh, thank you so much for joining me again today. And happy New Year! Happy New Year, you guys! We made it. We made it to 2021. We made it through 2020, and I like to think we made it through wiser, with a bigger, more open heart, uh, more insights and understandings of self with more capacity to handle whatever it is that 2021 is going to bring our way. And the message for today's podcast, um, it, it's kind of layered. There was a couple things that happened that inspired the totality of this message. And part of it was a meditative experience I had this weekend. And then also part of it was um, direct downloads from Spirit about kind of what's coming as well. So this is... Um, from the three guides of the light, those beautiful light beings that have been hanging out with us since um, last year, right? They came around in about, I think, February last year. So uh, this morning, the message was the key concept of everything that I learned on the weekend was you are the universe, right? And many of you, I think, probably saw my post on Facebook and Instagram of a snippet of that conversation where Spirit said, you are the universe. And I was like, yeah, I see that, but how do I explain that? Like, how do I put that into words? And so to repeat what I wrote on the post, they said, those that look up at the stars and think that they are separate are missing the point. The stars are but a reflection of a greater cosmos that is mirrored within. Everything is connected by invisible lines of energy that leaves nothing untouched. No one is lost. Separateness is simply attempting to shield the heart from the light. And the light never stops shining and waiting for the shield to be put down. I was like, well, that's a great way to say it, right? That's it. It was, it was beautiful. And, and this was like, but a droplet in the ocean of what they showed me with consciousness, with worlds within worlds. And so that's what I'm going to try really hard to uh, express with you guys in this podcast because it's a really important message with what is coming in 2021, especially starting off here in January. So, so truly the idea is that we live in worlds within worlds, that there is energy connecting absolutely everything to everything we truly are. And so some of us can really grasp that idea, but for some it's kind of like, yeah, but no, I'm over here and you're over there. And yes, that's true within 3D reality, but energetically, everything is connected. There's an energetic pulse or an energetic um, uh, wave or current that runs between every single thing, just as it runs between every single cell in our bodies. And so basically, the world that we live in is a place for our soul to basically experience itself. Right? When we think of that, when we think of triggers, and I'm going to try not to run on a tangent here, but when we think of triggers, when somebody external to us triggers us, they're energetically showing us something that bothers us about ourselves, either in a way we need to put up a boundary, in a way we need to change one of our own behaviors, uh, and so on and so forth. Right? It creates an energetic loop. And so when we are here in 3D, or I like to think 5D consciousness now, right? Uh, we are having a physical experience to experience ourselves as a soul, to experience consciousness and greater awareness. And so, but to truly know ourselves, we have to realize we are so much more. And that was my greatest experience this weekend too, was we are one with everything. And as we open our minds to connect to the earth and the cosmos, our inner self, then we start to really connect to true peace and joy and our awareness rises. And as our awareness rises, we're not stuck in the, uh, the cycles here on earth, like what people call the rat race or, you know, the, the mundane cycle of productivity or whatever you want to call it. The more consciousness you have, the more you rise outside of that, regardless of what it is you do in your daily life. Right. And so, to show me all of this, Spirit took me on this beautiful journey in a meditation this weekend. And this journey was, um, it started off with a tree and Spirit has a whole bunch of different ways to um, teach me and show me different things. But they started off with this tree and a tree has always been really symbolic of uh, consciousness on this planet. <clears throat> and so 
with this tree, I then went down the root system of this tree and the root system didn't just extend to simply those roots in soil, but it went way deeper. It encompassed the earth. It connected with the mycelium, with the, the mushrooms that run through our entire forest. It connected with every plant, every, every root system through all the forests underneath concrete, you name it, but then down even farther. It took me all the way down through into the core of the earth. And so the energetics of these root systems energetically run all the way down to the core of the earth. I'm not saying you have a root of a tree wrapped around the iron core of the earth, but I'm saying the energetics run through as everything is all connected, just like if you take yourself in comparison, the human body, Everything is connected in the human body to work as an entity, right? You have your veins, your lymphatic system, you have your nervous system. Everything is interconnected to work together and it runs through itself to create this human body, just like it is Gaia Earth. And so the beautiful thing about this is the Earth itself has gone through tremendous change. And so I kind of mentioned this before, but uh, December 21st was a huge shifting time for Earth. And what happened is Earth kicked up into a higher timeline, um, a faster paced, higher consciousness timeline, higher than I was actually expecting from what I was understanding. And what that did is that really lit up Mother Earth from her core. And it's like the energy of consciousness that is completely alive and pulsating and running now from the earth is coming up through the cracks of the earth to connect to the beautiful light and consciousness from the cosmos. So it's coming down and we are the ones that are kind of sandwiched in the middle of that. And that is a good thing. You want to be in this sandwich, right? This beautiful light consciousness coming from earth and coming from the cosmos. And so her energy is moving up through the earth and it has never been more important than ever to ground and connect into this to help us align with these ascension frequencies. So I know a lot of people have reached out to me saying like, oh my gosh, what's going on with the energy since the solstice? And uh, a lot. The answer to that is a lot. There's a lot going on with the energy since the solstice. So for you, those of you that are feeling kind of wobbly, tired, uh, nauseous, super hyper, can't sleep, restless legs, totally exhausted. Like it plays on our physicals in different ways. Everybody adjusts differently. Um, but there is a lot and there is an adjustment phase to this new frequency because again, we stepped up a little higher than what we were expecting. And that's great, right? That That's impressive. Um, and so again, Mother Earth is saying like, connect deep into me and I will help ground you through these processes of change. And so again, something was really ignited with her. Um, and this, this is huge because one of the other things they showed me is this connectedness of how we're all entirely connected. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but with fractals, right? Fractals is when you, you move into something, right? You look down to the pinpoint piece of a picture, but that can continue to expand into worlds, beyond worlds, beyond worlds, beyond worlds. Just as like when you expand out exponentially, you expand out into greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater expansion, which seems like it's never ending. That's the concept of fractals, um, which is similar to what I would experience in my fevers. For those of you that have read my book from Avalon to Aurora, I talk about these fevers I had when I was little. The understandings now is I was being shown fractals all the way to the atomic structure of our beings, the very basic structure of our beings through that all the way out to the cosmic expanse of our beings, all of that being consciousness that we are a part of. And so this is what they were reiterating to me again this weekend was how we are infinitely connected to that through these amazing um, grids of light that are on every level, which is just fascinating. And so that's why Spirit was saying no one is ever lost because every single living thing on this planet is connected to this light. And this light is always there, even if we have shields up or even if souls don't want to look at the light, um, it's always there waiting for us to reconnect into this super highway, basically of consciousness, this current that runs through everything on every layer, no matter where you're at, which is just what's so exciting to me because like, 
it, it's just so vast, right? It's just vast. And so again, I have to explain that each cell in our body, like if we, okay, let me simplify this. If we go to one single cell in the body is its own little microcosm because within that cell, you've got a nucleus, you've got mitochondria, you've got cytoplasm, you've got a whole bunch of organelles and different things moving around in the cell. That's its own little world, but that's one cell. So then you compare that microcosm of activity and stuff happening in consciousness in a certain degree of one cell, but then we have 37 trillion cells in our body and that's just one body. And then we have however million, uh, however billion people on the planet and that's one planet. And then you have how many planets in the solar system and this is one solar system within the galaxy and how many galaxies are there? There's a bazillion trillion galaxies. Like, and they're even saying there's more universes. Like, this is what I'm saying. But all of those pieces are connected and we're connected to that consciousness, which is why, again, we never die. We continually move and, and transform through these different levels of consciousness. But that is another tangent I'm gonna try <laughs> and stay away from and focus on here. But again, what I'm trying to get at is we are so connected. There are so many words to this infinity. And the reason why this is so important to know is so that um, we realize we're not alone, first of all. Second, we know for a fact that life goes on, that this physical experience is but an experience right now. It is a way for us to experience growth and gain wisdom. And when we know that, when we are rooted in that, we don't need to fear the ending of life. We don't need to fear death because there's a lot of people that fear death and it's hard to express why you don't have to fear it if you've never achieved or attained or seen the consciousness or had an NDE or anything like that to prove that indeed we do go on. But after talking with the spirit, what I realized is I can keep sharing these messages to help instill faith and hope for people to be able to release that fear. So that's why I went on for so long about explaining this connectedness and why they were showing me how it's all connected. Because 2021, now if I move into the second part of this message, 2021 is a number five year, okay? So number four year that we had in 2020 was all about groundedness, foundation building, which is really what we did. We did a lot of house cleaning in ourselves, probably in our homes, in our priorities. And now we have a foundation for the most part. Now we're stepping into a number five year and number five is all about change, right? And so for things to change, things need room to transform. Things need to crumble while other things can be built up, right? There is an in-between that has to happen for change to occur. And so we are in a change year. Spirit has shown us that we are also now, like I said, on a faster timeline because of the shift that happened on the solstice on December 21st. So what that means is we have incredible changes coming. We have incredible changes ahead and a lot of these changes are going to start rapidly. It's not like we're going to wait till the spring. It's going to start in January. Um, so lots will be exposed so that much can crumble. Right, and some of you might have heard the channelings that I did with Spirit on the solstice uh, with the Three Guides of the Light where they said this four year process that we're in right now, uh, now we're starting into the second year of it. The first year was to create the crack. If you picture an, an avalanche, um, it has to crack first. That was 2020. Now for the next three years of this four year process, um, we're gonna have the avalanche come down, which will pick up speed. Okay. But again, I say this not to instill fear because think of how much consciousness we've gained. And I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. But this year will be a year of change, new perspectives, transformation. If you're stuck in 3D reality, then that is where fear will take over. So anytime you find yourself getting caught up in fear, connect yourself deeper into the earth and expand yourself to realize you are so much more and this is but an experience of consciousness. Um, so 
It really is a time to let go and know you're part of something more because the winds of change may be strong. And this is what they showed me. They showed me when a huge storm comes in, which we will have, we are gonna have storms of different kinds this year. We're gonna have storms in the form of literal storms. It's, there's gonna be lots of weather action this year. There's gonna be volcanic action. There's gonna be earthquake-based action. There's gonna be government as we know, uh, especially in the United States. There's a changeover of government happening in January. But we're gonna see a lot of other government activity shifting, changing. Some may be in the form of storms, so the idea of the storm, they said, was um, when a storm comes up, if you hold strong to the tree with its roots deep in the earth, you keep from being tumbled in the wind. That tree comes in the form of your soul. In your heart and also feeling in your undercurrent is where you can steady yourself in your truths and observe the changes that happen around you instead of being caught up in the winds that tumble you down the street. You hold on strong to that tree, which is holding on strong to your sense of self, your heart, your soul. Then you can allow the other things to shake up, to crumble, to change without losing who you are. And also in many ways, start to view this experience as an opportunity to transform. And then it can become an empowerment experience. And so the other thing was too, to remember that you chose to be a part of this time and experience. And so you have strength within you from lifetimes before this one to guide you through this. That's the other piece is to remember, remember, we all chose to be here at this time to be a part of this changeover of the age. And we're actually doing a good job, right? Again, we picked a higher timeline. This, this is exciting. So the concept that I had or the conversation I had with spirit was like, how do I explain all that I saw, all that I understand to people when it's so vast? How do I explain it? Like what, what can they clue in again, if they haven't had an NDE or something like that, how do I make it real? How do I show them what it is? So it means enough. And they said, um, just as a seed germinates and grows without knowing how, so are you germinating and growing into this new time. Just as a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, so are you going through a process now. Trust yourself, trust the change. And I thought that was really significant because think of how magnificent it is the fact that a single seed of a plant can suddenly know what to do to germinate into a little seedling and push through the earth. How phenomenal is that? The knowing is in there, that's magic. To me, that, that's a beautiful, that, that's cosmic magic at work. I don't mean magician's magic of fooling people or illusions. I mean beautiful, awe-inspiring magic. The same thing goes for how a caterpillar turns into um, a butterfly. Like that's pretty impressive to completely dissolve and then reconfigure yourself into something with wings. That's impressive. So coming back to those things that you observe in awe and wonder of the universe, allow that to inspire you to know there is more, there is purpose, there is a greater aspect happening. Um, Now the other thing too is, if you guys are into meditation, and I would imagine many of you that are listening are, um, in your meditations, allow yourself to take a beautiful golden white light from the cosmos into the top of your head, through your body, and then down into the earth. Make this connection happen for yourself. Allow your body to be alive with light as you connect into the roots and the roots of Gaia. She is supporting you just as the cosmos are supporting you. Again, be connected to this sandwich. Um, Feel the energy of it. Feel this golden light. And this golden light is consciousness. This golden light is Um, awareness is movement it's active energy that's moving through all those grids of consciousness that you are absolutely a part of so allow it to move through you allow it to move with you be you know be one with it and so as we step into the uh, more the details that are gonna come and I will keep you guys posted as much as I can as soon as I get the downloads from spirit I will share those with you Um, much is coming It's starting January now. So if you start to see 
COVID numbers going up, if you start to see more world events happening, crazy weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, um, remember we're in a five year, a number five year, five is change. Changes are happening. You don't need to feel the fear in it. You can have it with consciousness. You can choose your actions, choose your feelings as a result of what's happening around you and choose to view them in a way that you can put your best, fit, your best foot forward. Make the biggest difference where you can. Ground and relax when you can. Um, transmute and transform. Set boundaries where you need. Use your voice where you need. Inspire where you can and be kind. Kindness is one of the greatest gifts we have on this planet to share with others and it's free. So this was kind of the main message. There's so much more, but I had to compartmentalize it a little bit um, so that we can digest it. And I do want to encourage you guys, if you wish to explore more of this and even more wild stuff, um, like direct from the cosmos, I, I encourage you guys to join me on avalonspirit.com in my conscious or cosmic consciousness circle. Uh, twice a month, we'll be talking about direct downloads from spirit, from the higher realms, from ETs, from ascended masters, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll do a live session twice a week. So if you guys are interested, do check that out. Um, as well, join the uh, Avalon Spirit group on Facebook, you guys. It's a great place to interact. I'm on there daily. Uh, and there's lots of beautiful people posting great stuff. It's just a place to share consciousness, information, questions. I love it when you guys ask questions on there. Um, and it's a beautiful, safe space. So do join as well. Uh, please do check out the YouTube page, um, Jeanette Biro Medium. If you check out the YouTube page and you subscribe, you'll be entered in a chance to win a free reading with me as well. So definitely do that. Uh, help to get these messages out there because really it's spirit wanting to help us so that we don't have to struggle so much and feel like we're walking around blind. They really are helping to shine the light. Uh, I am sharing those messages with you guys. I appreciate your love and support in this work and I wish you guys so much love. I hope you take this message and allow it to fill your heart, feel the energy and uh, we'll see what comes up next week. Hope you guys have a good day.